guys in this tutorial let's see all about non homogeneous recurrence relation in the previous to previous video in the introduction of homogeneous recurrence relation i have just told you what is a non homogeneous recurrence relation okay don't worry i'll be repeating it again a non homogeneous recurrence relation is something that which will be having equal to some value which is some constant value here we are having 9 in another problem we will be having 10 11 any number which is a constant value guys don't worry even 3 power k will be a constant guys remember 3 power k is also a constant 9 power something is also a constant guys don't worry we going to have a in depth clarity about them don't worry guys okay so basically assume this as a homogeneous equation where we'll be just removing this equals to 0 and find the characteristic equation and continue up to the homogeneous equation okay let me solve this that will be the best way to explain these kind of problems i'll be explaining i'll be doing two problems and i'll be to i'll be explaining two problems guys that will be a balanced one okay let me note down the same question this is a small problem okay that's fine s of k plus 5s into k minus 1 is equals to 9 where the initial value s of 0 is equals to 6 this is what he gave guys okay once we are going through this write the given equation is this and s of 0 is this okay finding the characteristic equation characteristic equation means it should be a homogeneous equation so assuming that this is the equation for now let the equation be 5s of k minus 1 is equals to 0 so here this is 1 so i'll be taking i'll be taking a letter let us it a plus 5 is equals to 0 so a is equals to 5 so i hope everyone understood up to now so in the previous video we have wrote hom homogeneous equations so for non homogeneous equation this is going to be a homogeneous equation which will be denoting as h s power h of k which indicates h as the homogeneous equation it's, this is not so just as a basic you can remember it guys it will be having h in the numerator to indicate this as a homogeneous solution of this equation okay so we'll be writing b1 into minus 5 whole to the power of n or k okay we wrote here k so we'll be writing k here okay i hope everyone is clear up to now okay once everyone is clear up to here so now we found homogeneous equation this is all the way similar to homogeneous equation homogeneous recurrence relation now the change will be here sorry the change will be here guys the particular solution is nothing we need to find homogeneous we got so the extra one will be the particular solution of k this we will be finding we need to find so this equation has only one so here we will be replacing s of k and s of k minus 1 with a particular single letter let us assume that d i'll be assuming the general equation d plus d plus d1 k plus d2 k square and so on up to infinity guys i hope everyone got a small idea on this so the initial value is 1 so i'll be taking the first term only so that is going to be d so i'll be substituting in place of s of k and s of k plus 1 so i'll be getting an equation d plus 5d is equals to 9 where d is equals to 1.5 a solution which is called as a complete solution or something it is the sum of homogeneous solution plus particular solution which is equals to d1 minus 5k plus 1.5 okay here he gave s of 0 is equals to 6 okay sorry i think in the video it is not so clear okay that's fine i'll be repeating it so from here we got we substituting d d plus 5d is equals to 9 d is equals to we got 1.5 so a complete solution is the sum of homogeneous solution plus particular solution just i wrote it so now in the question he gave s of 0 is equals to 6 so i'll be finding k is equals to 0 now so s of 0 is equals to 6 he gave so substituting k equal to 0 6 is equals to b1 
plus 1.5 right so b1 is equals to 4.5 hence the solution s of k is equals to 4.5 into minus 5 whole to the power of k plus 1.5 is the solution guys i hope everyone got a small idea on these kind of problems okay let's go through one more problem i'll be explaining from my book because that will be a bit clear okay guys let's go through it this is the next question guys this will be the next question here t of k minus 7 t k minus 1 plus 10 t k minus 2 is equals to k square plus 1 okay i hope everyone got a small idea okay here we are having k square so previously i told you that that will be the equation d1 x power 1 that's it right okay i wrote k okay, that's fine k power 1 plus d2 k square plus and so on here we are having k square so this will be the substitution of t k and t k minus 1 and t k plus 2 i hope everyone got a small idea so initially we'll be assuming that there is this is a homogeneous equation and we'll be finding the characteristic equation and we'll be finding the roots and we will be finding the homogeneous equation and i'll be indicating it with the h i told you previously so the particular solution will be nothing but i told you here we'll be replacing up to 2 here as it is k square so now d not plus d power 1 plus d1 k plus d2 k square and if it is in the question k q plus 1 we going to add the third term even so substituting this value everywhere okay it's a bit confusing guys but that's fine that's going to be easy so you will be substituting those values such that t p of k is equals to d not plus d1 k plus d2 k square whenever you are substituting this in the place of k minus 1 let us assume in the second term let us assume that it will be d not plus d1 into k minus 1 plus d2 into k minus 1 whole square okay let me solve this from here on because it's going to be a bit messed up okay okay up to now let us assume that we have found the roots and i got to know that the particular solution is this d not plus d1 k plus this is not the particular solution the equation we need to substitute is this as in the left hand side we got this so k square so i need to have k square okay i hope everyone got this small idea so basically the question is this t k minus 7 t k minus 1 plus 10 t k minus 2 is the question right is equals to k square plus 1 i forgot this k square plus 1 so from this k square we got this so we substitute we'll be substituting this in term in place of these three places so while substituting it initially t of k right guys so we'll be directly substituting this place d not plus d1 d1 into k plus d2 into k k square sorry d2 into k square this will be the first term so the second term 7 into d not plus d1 into k minus 1 plus d2 into k minus k minus 1 whole square okay that will be the second term while we are substituting in the third term plus 10 into d not plus d1 into k minus 2 plus d2 into k minus 2 whole square is equals to k square plus 1 i hope everyone got an idea now i think so at least now okay i have just continued solving that by multiplication and addition of the common terms of d1 d2 d3 i have just got like this so we are having three different terms right so let us assume this as the final equation guys okay this is in terms of this is without k that is equals to k power 0 this is in terms of k and these are in terms of k square so i took common in that way so that i'll be equating k square with k square where 4d square is equals to 1 4d square is equals to 1 similarly here there is no chance of k so it is having 0 into k so this term is equals to 0 sorry here i wrote okay this term is equals to 0 okay that's fine 
Okay, just a second, guys. I think I have done a mistake here also. 31 is equals to 1, guys. Okay, I have done a mistake. Is equals to 1, it should be. As. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I was just saying you some mistakes. Okay, this is equals to 0, right? So, 4 d naught minus 13 d1 plus 33 d square is in terms of k where here we are not having any k coefficient so that is equals to 0 so this whole will be equal to 0 4 d naught minus 13 d1 plus 33 d2 is equals to 0 and this term 4 d2 k square we are having k square so 4 d2 is equals to 1 where d2 is equals to 1 by 4 so you will be finding all the 4 values d1 d2 d3 sorry d0 so you will be finding them using a calc or it's all up to you so after solving this you will be substituting these values in this equation in this equation so that this new equation will be your this new equation will be your okay just a second this new equation will be your particular solution so by adding the homogeneous and particular solution you'll be getting the final answer so we got this okay we got this so in the question i hope he gives zero value and one value yep zero and one t of zero is equals to four and t of one is equals to seven so substituting those values t of zero he gave four so substitute or the whole equation with zero you'll be getting this okay you'll be getting a equation like this b1 plus b2 is equals to 0 0.532 b1 plus b2 is equals to 0 0.532 next substituting one you'll be getting this equation solving these both you gonna get b1 and b2 values so after substituting b1 and b2 values in the previous equation that is the complete solution you gonna get the solution so i hope everyone got a small idea on how i am solving these kind of problems Okay guys, I hope this video is really lengthy video. Okay, I'll be ending it here. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.